Hello, Carrie here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how we make these gorgeous borders. Now I love them and I've been trying them out in my journal to see what they look like and I just, oh, I'm in love with them. I mean, just imagine that in an art journal page. Isn't that going to be scrumptious? I just love it to bits. And there was one page I looked at that I wasn't too... This is one where I was a bit... I went a bit bonkers the other week and I wasn't too entirely happy with this page. But I wish I'd had a border because that would have finished it off. If I had a border on both sides, that would have finished it off beautifully. And the other thing I'm thinking I would like to see is... I'm going to do them on paper that's firmer, like watercolour paper. And then I can have them sticking out of the pages. So imagine how effective that would look i love edges hanging out of pages don't you think that'd be beautifully effective oh, i do oh, it's lovely so i'm really pleased with these i'm just going to show you how i make them it's really fun what you need are some posca pens sharpies faber castell fine liners just black and white i've got if you've got other colors use those i don't have any other colors of these and some paint basically so keep watching and i'll show you how we make them so i've started off with a book page and i've chosen a larger book because the journals i tend to use are roughly eight inches so i want to be able to cover all of that if your journals are smaller you don't need such a large page and it doesn't have to be I like the text because I like text in the background I mean it's subtle you can't always see it but it's there and I think it just gives added interest now I've seen people use music paper which would be lovely but unfortunately I don't have any um, so that would be good as well or any scrap paper actually and then what I do basically is I just put in a load of colors <laughs> yummy colors I'm going to put on some yellow. I might even put a spot of gold on as well. I've got my gold ink next to me here. It's a little bit of purple. It's going to uh, keep that away from the yellow because it'll just go brown. And a spot of magenta, of course. Not got a lot left on here. It's going to be rather watery magenta, but never mind. So I'll just stick with a couple of colours. And then before it dries, I'm going to squirt it with some water. Where's my water squirt? <gasps> Out of reach. Right, so I'm just going to squirt it with some water to help the colours run. So I'm just, just going to encourage the colours to run. This is a messy stage. It gets cleaner after this. And then I'll dry it with a hairdryer. Oh, but before I do, I'm going to add on some gold ink. You don't have to have gold. You can use the gold later on. Ooh, a bit too much there, but never mind. Let that run. Let that run. Join all the other lovely colours. And then we're going to dry it with a hairdryer. So the piece of paper is nice and dry. I want to show you a couple of things. Those are freehand, as, is, as are most of these. But this one is actually a stamp of the figure eight. <laughs> you can see it now, can't you? Look, I'm eight. Um, that was quite fun. And there's another one I did with a rubber stamp. This is a pretty swirly stamp. You see me use this a lot if you've been watching my channel for any length of time. And I've just filled in some white here and there. I love that one. So you can use stamps. So some of these are a zero in my small set of stamps. Here it is, the little zero. So I'm using stamps, but I'm also working freehand. So it's a bit of both, a bit of both. So the first one, what shall we do? I was thinking of doing the figure eight lying on its side. So I'm going to do that for the first one. Right, where is the figure of eight? Oh, here it is. And I'm just using stays on ink so I can get away with mixing colors. If I wanted to put some more color down, I doubt it though. I'm using a piece of messy paper in the background because I want to go over the edges to make it look more natural. And I'm leaving a bit of a border there. I'm just going to go across. 
I'll put some jaunty music on while I do this. Once you've seen someone stamp once, you've seen them stamp a million times. There we go, now back to normal speed. And I'm just going to run along the edge here with this, this Sharpie. So I quite like the black edge. You don't have to have one, but I quite like it. Now I can do some patterns in this. Now what can I do? I'm going to come in with the smaller, the 0.7 Faber-Castell pit pen. And you just doodle basically. And I like to do this in the smaller part of the eight. And maybe I'll do some dashes around the large one. So you can do anything you like. And this is quite good fun. You could actually set yourself up in the evening and do this when you're watching your movies or whatever, your TV. I'm going to speed this bit up again. And I'm going to come in with some of the Posca. I'm going to fill in the centre here. This is a 0.7. I've got a wider one somewhere. There we go. I've got a 1.3 here, will it nib? I just think adding white really gives it a bit of oomph. There, let's do something here. In fact, I'll do some dashes going around the edge as well in white. Basically, you can do anything you like. It's just great fun. And then you just cut it out. Now, I like to leave a bit of an uneven edge when I cut it out. I don't cut out straight to the, the actual black line. And what I like to do is I'm careful to cut it out neatly-ish so that I can use that edge for another one. That's the beauty of this. One feeds onto the next, love it. And I like to vary the thickness. I've got some that are thicker than others. That's another very pretty edge. Love it. Just having so much fun with these. Now this one, I'm going to have it as a narrow one. Now this one, I'm going to draw around the edges freehand. Right now, what can I do in this one? I quite like getting the finer pen and following that line along. Now, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a dash line along the border with the finer pen. This is the point 0.7 again. So let me know down below if you're going to do this. If you think this is a good idea, let me know. I would be very interested to hear what you say because I think they're wonderful. Now that's quite effective, isn't it? And now I'm going to do some little, little circles at the points. And I'm gonna put a little dob in the center with the bullet. Ooh, that livens them up, doesn't it? Might do some more white along the edge as well. 
Lovely. I'm going to just cut this bit out. I'm going to leave a bit of the edge underneath. And there, that's another one. So that's how I've done one freehand without stamping. So that's the stamped one. And here's the other stamped one, um, which is this stamp and I just stamped it all along basically it's very easy love it so that's how you do them oh they're gorgeous so I just love them and also you know doing like making a postcard these are my Egyptian postcards just imagine on the edge of a postcard how nice that would look as well isn't that gorgeous love it and also tags, I haven't got a tag handy, but it'd be nice to make a tag. So just have lots of fun with them. And they're addictive to make as well. You can't stop doing them once you start. And check out all your rubber stamps and see what you've got. If you've got some number ones or some letter ones, they would be perfect. If you turn them on their side, like a number three, I couldn't find my number three in my set. Turn it on its side, that would have made nice, nice lines. That's a freehand one. This one, I drew circles with one of these to make this. So, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's given you some ideas for things you'd like to try. I'm sure you will have a lovely time trying these out. So I can just imagine that at the bottom of this tag. See how effective that would look. And this one. Oh, I just love it. Just at the bottom like that. Yum. I hope this has given you some ideas for things you'd like to try. I think we're going to have some fun with these. I know I am. If you'd like to leave a like, please press the like button. That helps the YouTube algorithm know my video is a good one. That is always very helpful. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I do lots. I have lots of videos actually already. And I do two videos a week. Uh, the Saturday one is usually a prompt one, but the Wednesday one is usually something different, something interesting. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.